Hello, dear viewer. To get your minds away from all the chaos my theories have caused, I have come up with a fresh idea. As I have mentioned many times before, Hollow Knight Silk Song will take some well-deserved time until it releases. Plot and lore are slim, theories and evidence are sparse. To still give you guys the satisfaction of talking about one of my favourite video games of the coming years, yes, even before it released, because I just have that much faith in it, I will instead give you guys some stuff and I'll leave it open to discussion. This way both parties, me and you, dear anonymous viewers, win. Today's topic will be something creative. We will talk about the bosses that we will get to see in Hall Knight Silk Song. To start somewhere, let's say that there is not much information about upcoming Silk Song bosses. The new bosses section from the Silk Song reveal trailer is basically most of the events I have for this video, that and the Hall Knight Silk Song wiki website. Going from this, I will try to analyze each boss's location, attacks, and character. Let's start with the simplest one. The first boss we will talk about is a bug named Moss Mother. Now, Moss Mother is one boss we have most of the information about. She is most likely the first boss Hornet can encounter in the game. Her grander area is the Moss Grotto, the first area in Silk Song. In the Silk Song trailer and from videos collected by people at Gamescom and E3, it can be said that at the start of, ga of the game, Hornet was captured by some box from Farloom. The reason for this capture is unknown, and it is also fairly unknown how Hornet managed to escape. What we know is that because of some form of butterfly and through her powers with silk, she managed to break free. Her cage and her captors fall down to the deepest depths of Farloom, landing in the Moss Grotto. After venturing through this green and grassy area, Hornet will come to a sub-area known as the Old Church. Here now she will she encounter Moss Mother who hatches from a cocoon hanging from the ceiling. This beast will then scream and then the fight will begin. To note beforehand, this boss is fairly similar to the first boss of the night encounters in the first Hollow Knight game, which was called the Gross Mother. Now, the Moss Mother's boss fight behavior. Moss Mother will hover and quickly float around this small area. She will always try to return to the middle of the room to use the following attacks. Swoop. Moss Mother will fly down a small dive with her stinger towards Hornet's direction. When she reaches the floor, she will slide her body across the ground a distance roughly half of the area. Headbutt. Moss Mother will quickly rise up and slam her head into the ceiling of the air arena, causing either three stalactites or two small spiny moss worms to fall from above. Falling objects' positions will be pre-indicated by a small puff of dust that lasts half a second before the object falls. The objects will also not all fall at once but can be staggered, falling at different times. After defeating her, Moss Mother will explode, leaving behind singular parts of her body on the ground. Hornet can then venture upwards and will then meet a shadowy figure. For some unknown reasons, Hornet now begins to shake and faint. The shadowy figure is most likely the church keeper, mentioned by the woman playing Hall Knight Silk Song for the Nintendo Treehouse event at E3 2019. The church keeper will then laugh and the screen fades to black. Now, according to further information, this church keeper will act as Hornet's mentor throughout the game, possibly teaching her some sweet new movesets. The Keeper is also seen singing in the Silk Song reveal trailer, while Hornet right next to her is playing her needle as if it were an instrument. Maybe this will be like Ocarina of Time? Maybe the song playing mechanic is more than just a pass away cutscene and indicates that music will play a far more important role throughout the game? It is after all called Silk Song. So let's now take a deeper look into the second boss we fully know of, well mostly, and which is far more interesting lore wise. This character is known as Lace. In the gameplay video by Nintendo, she is shown to be the boss in the Deep Docks, though there might be other bosses roaming around too. For further information, check out my video on the Deep Docks. Where Hornet meets her for the first time, she seems to be associated to some form of group trying to stop Hornet along a path, and offers to kill Hornet right then and there. Lace seems to have multiple boss fights throughout the game, similar to how Hornet had two boss fights in the first Hollow Knight game. Her weapon is a pin, the traditional weapon of Farlum according to Team Cherry, and she seems to be a quick and dashing fencer, showing some spectacular combat moves in the Nintendo 3 hours gameplay video. Going from my own experience fighting this boss at Gamescom 2019, it's clear to say that her boss fight is really challenging, yet also entertaining and rewarding if you manage to beat her. Now let's get to her moveset. Lunge. Lace will strike dash to forwards with her pin extended across the platform, covering a roughly 60% of it. Double cut. Lace will slash twice, making large arcs over her head with her pin. Each slash will move her forwards a slight distance. 
Palestra. Lace will launch herself at an angle into the air and slash a full circle around her body with a pin once she reaches the peak of the jump. Then she will dash at an angle towards the ground with a jab, skidding a short bit after landing. While at the peak of her jump, Lace can change the direction of her jab depending on if Hornet is to her east or her west. Parry and Riposte. Lace will hold her pin up, striking a defensive position and blocking any damage. She will hold this position for about a half a second, and if she is struck in that time, she will retaliate with a small dash forwards, chin to a quick flurry of strikes with a pin. If Hornet is caught in her flurry, she will initially take one mask of damage and then hold in place for the blows until Lace slashes again with a nail, leaving an additional mask. If Hornet is not caught in this attack, Lace's flurry of strikes will not last as long. Flourish. During the end of an attack, Lace will add a small flare. Sometimes she will fix and straighten her stance with a small slash from her nail. Doing this will deal damage to Hornet if she is caught in it, and also this move appears to deflect projectiles that are thrown at her. Other times, Lace will simply strike a quick harmless bow or pose before continuing the fight. Retreat. Lace will quickly glide back a short distance to reposition for another attack. Advance. Lace will make a short half step forwards, accompanied by a very small flick of her pin. She will sometimes chain this move to traverse the area and reposition. Whirlwind. Lace will stand in place for a brief moment, charging up, and this time a white circle will be highlighted in mid-air as some position in the arena. After charging, Lace will unleash a volley of four slashes within the highlighted region. At the end of the last slash, Lace will then slam down from that position, shaking the platform. This attack is only used when Lace drops to a low enough HP threshold. If Hornet is caught in this attack, Lace will deal one initial damage, carry Hornet within the whirlwind, and then slam Hornet down onto the platform, dealing an additional mask of damage. As you may have guessed by now, her arsenal is quite varied. After defeating her, she will catch her breath before quickly descending further upwards, without saying anything. Hornet can now access the sub-area called the Wild Songshine, which I described in my previously mentioned Deep Docs video. From here on out, dear viewers, boss info is quite rare. Let's move on to a character which I mentioned in my King of Farloon video, Hunter Queen Carmelita. She appears to be an armed queen leading the tribe of ants seen in the reveal trailer. In the trailer, she is fought in an auditorium with many balconies filled with ants spectating a fight with Hornet. One move can be seen where she leaps over Hornet, lands and creates spike jabbing out of the ground from her point of landing. She also does a twirl of her two held blades after landing. Due to her scene in the trailer, she matches the description of one of the boss slated to be back a content, specifically the operatic queen. Additional side note, this information was taken from the Hollow Knight Silks on Wiki, which holds all the information used in this video. Link in the description below. As speculated before, Hunter Queens would imply that there is a wide range of royalty roaming the lands of Farloom. From her description up until this point, she seems to be similar to the Mantis Lords or the Bee Queen in the first game, leaders of tribes which are different from the rest of Farloom's creatures. Another confirmed boss is an assassin named Sharp. He was revealed shortly before Hollow Knight's release and seems to re arrival to Hornet, taken from information re released by Team Cherry. This character is a hunter from a distant land, possibly far limo or another kingdom, and is tasked with eliminating Hornet. Sharp is also accompanied by two other characters who are pursuing Hornet as well, making them a deadly trio. It is unknown though why they would chase our protagonists and who hired them. One person who commented on the one of my videos speculated that the King of Farlim actually got Sharp into his deadly mission, that this is mere speculation. So far, we only know of one attack animation as basic design. His companions are also unknown, but one of them might have been revealed in the Silk Song reveal trailer. Now to conclude, let's go to ourselves to the last batch of bosses, which were shown in the reveal trailer under the category New Bosses. So we've got what seems to be a Grey Worm in a location home to a lot, and I mean a lot of bells. Interestingly, Hornet is seen travelling this thing further down the trailer's runtime, so this will most likely be our new way of transport in Silk Song, similar to the last stack in the first game. Except that you now have to fight him once, probably. There is also slim chance that there are just multiple forms of this specific creature and you just get to fight one bad one and ride a good one. But that's up for debate. After that worm singy, we move on to a boss before which we have got some info by Team Chariot. This character is called Trobio, described as a master of the stage, the brush and the voice. The flamboyant butterfly, Trobio seeks fame and adoration throughout Farloom. His boss location is currently unknown, but in the background you can see a symbol which has been seen quite a lot throughout Farloom, an encircled ball or bell. He also seems to be fighting Hornet on some form of stage and jumps up in the air, lighting up tremendously while smoke is coming up from the ground. After Trobio there is the talk about Moss Mother, and after her we see some form of warrior covered in red and grey armour. 
while carrying a mask scarred and with four eye holes. He shouts at the center of the room and red spikes erupt into the air. His boss location might be an area which we until now only know as Coral Forest, which was mentioned on the Hollow Knight's looks on wiki. Then we see Lace, but in a location different from the one at the Deep Docks, possibly her second or third boss fight in the game. Her moveset seems to be similar but probably faster. On the floor, white plants of roses specifically can be seen, which are also covering some mysterious pipes lingering in the background. And there is some mysterious cage in the center of the room. Maybe Hornet will first travel to the top of this area with said cage or elevator, and then will then get attacked by Lace starting the fight. After Lace, we can see Hunter Queen Carmelita already mentioned, and then a giant robot of Big Arm and Bog, which I mentioned briefly in my Deep Talks video as a possible boss for this location. Now this robot has got four gigantic arms and its eyes are piercingly white. Some of my viewers have already speculated that since this thing wears some form of metallic crown, it might just be this long lost King of Farnham we are looking for. Or that it was built by the King. But this is only speculation again, intriguing though nonetheless. The last thing we see of it is that it smashes the ground on which Hornet sands at least a part of it. It is definitely quite a large boss and taking it down will take some crafty moves. Moving on, this ends the new boss's category, but one last boss is still open. A warrior which can be seen fighting on in the trail under the new Legends part. We see very little of this warrior on night. Dashing through the air, he carries two blades, striking at Hornet, but she defends herself from his attack, and dashes away to the side. His design is seemingly linked to the Bell Cult, which I discussed in the last episode. So he might be their leader or one of their warriors? From the background, we can perhaps judge that he'll be one of the bosses in the Shining Citadel, which is mentioned crowning the Kingdom of Farloom. So folks, that's all we have for now. Until further information is released, in which case I will give you a small info update, this is all we have about the upcoming bosses in Silk Song. I hope you enjoyed my little talk, and if you have your own ideas and theories, please tell them in the comments below. As always, please like the video, and follow if you haven't already. Speak soon.